Okay guys, we're going to review the problem that we had for last week, the problem called Pizza Time. And in it we were working on I can solve equal sharing problems. And you guys have done a great job with those problems. I just want to talk it through before we move on to our problem for this week. So Pizza Time, Mrs. Brown made two pizzas because she had four very hungry children. How could she cut the pizza so that each child had a fair share? Okay, so let's read this again. Mrs. Brown had made two pizzas, two pizzas, actually, let's underline that, it's a number, two pizzas because she had four very hungry children. I see a number here again, I'm gonna underline it. How could she cut the pizza so that each child had a fair share? So. Mrs. Brown made two pizzas. So let's do our picture. Let's go ahead and draw. We have one pizza, two pizzas, and she also had four very hungry children. So let's go ahead and draw children. Remember when we're doing our math drawings, we really don't need to have details. So I'm just gonna draw some little stick figures. Here's one hungry child. Two hungry child, three hungry child, and four hungry child. Okay, now we have to figure out the problem we need to solve. We have our four hungry children and two pizzas. They each need to have a fair share. So I can already see sort of how we're going to divide these. For everyone to get a fair share, we need to divide these in half. And let's take a look at that just to, just to make sure. Is this side gonna be the same as this side? Yes. Is this side gonna be the same as this side? Yes. So each child is going to have one half. That's for you, that's for you, that's for you, and that's for you. And then we will have four happy children instead of four hungry children. So I'm gonna write right here. Each child will have half, with that math word, half a pizza. And real quick, this is I can solve equal sharing problems. Now the problem that we just finished, this one with the shapes, were we solving an equal sharing problem of a region or a set? Do you remember those vocabulary words that I used earlier? Let's see, is this gonna be a region or a set? Well, they're definitely shapes, so we just found an equal sharing problem for a region. Good job. Now we're going to do a problem, an equal sharing problem with a set.